Good morning or afternoon now. Afternoon now, um, yeah. Thanks for joining us today. So we're going to be touring Let's and Ripley Hall right now. Mm -hmm. um, we were just outside just wanting to show you all a little bit about what's around here. So sure. over here, what can we we'll see start over on here? this side. We're on the north side of the building. Uh -huh. um, so right here, you're going to have the hyper is down from you. Um, the volleyball slash gymnastics mm -hmm. um, facility and you're gonna have the nice football stadium that's currently being uh, renovated. renovated yes there it is right there yeah, they're Razorback adding, Stadium they're gonna have the Jumbotron which will soon be here and then they're gonna have some box seatings in there um, and then you'll take this sidewalk up and you'll be right in the center of campus which is where all of your classes will be you'll also have the Bruff Dining Hall, which is where this tree is. Unfortunately, we can't see it because we are on a. What are we looking at right there behind the us? That's uh... behind us. That's going to be Gregson Hall. That is an okay. upper classroom or upper classman dorm. And then where the tree is going to be the Bruff Cafeteria. Mm -hmm. That's where you'll go to eat all of your meals. You'll just swipe and you can go in and unlimited food of anything you want. Just make sure to get the ice cream on your way out. <laughs> and then we're going to have um, Humphreys. Is that one right up there? And then the one right next to it that looks the exact same is going to be Yoakum Hall. Yoakum and Humphreys. Now Yoakum where did you live? I lived in Yoakum, which uh -huh. is right up there. I can actually see my dorm room from here. I love it. Nice. Um, I love living on campus. You know, being right here on the center of campus is the best. You're close to everything. It's super nice. It's convenient. You know, you can leave for your classes five, ten minutes before they start and get there right on time. So. Sure, sure. Yeah. Well, um, let's look at the inside. Yes, we'll go right. inside because it's very But yeah, I guess we should point out that is Buchanan Droke down on the other side. Yes. And these two halls are oftentimes combined together in what is sometimes referred to as Badger, BGDR. Is that right? B -B -G -R. Yes, BDGR. BDGR. Buchanan Droke, Gladson Ripley. And this is just going to be like a little living area. Mm -hmm. Um, you will have to have a fob, not with that door that we just walked through, but the next door that we're about to walk to. You'll have to have a fob when entering, so if any of your friends ever come, make sure that you come down here and grab them, mm -hmm. um, because you'll have to use a little fob right here to go in. Yeah. Hopefully we have some. Now this is a desk, but you won't be getting uh, your mail here. You'll be going, or your packages, yes. you'll go over to Buchanan Drug. Your big packages will go to Buchanan Drug, and we'll actually show you your mail room right now. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's just in that main door right here is going to be your mail. So how the mail system is set up on campus, you and your roommate will actually share a mailbox. You'll get an email saying what mailbox it is and your code for the mailbox. So you just come in, put in your code, and then you can open it up and get your mail right there. Right on, right on. And uh, what can you tell us? Can you tell us a little bit about this particular hall? Do you know when it was? It was uh, built? built in 1954. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of the oldest dorms on campus, actually. It was named after two men, one of them who was a physics teacher who became the Dean of Men, and then the other one, which was, I believe he was the Dean of Fulbright, I want to okay, say. Okay, okay. Well, we can, wanna okay, say. We can check Good for you. Double check that out later. Oh, that information. How many we people live that? here? 101 people live here and it's a co-ed dorm okay. and it's going to be three floors so right now we're on the first floor it's called um, floor one but it's actually kind of floor yeah, two yeah it's actually floor three. two so we're on the middle let's just yes. say the middle one because there's one more level right above us and there's one below us which is where we're about to go to okay well, let's go down to into the heart of uh glads and ripley yeah and then that's just Outside, you can see the stadium from there, mm -hmm. um, and then this is going to be the bottom floor, which is G, which is technically floor one. Ground um, floor. Ground floor, which is actually just floor one. All right. So we're going to show you um, a bedroom today. We're going to show you the bathrooms. If y'all have any questions at all, please just type in the comment box, yeah. and we'll answer all of them. And there are a couple of people watching right now, so I'll ask, where are you from? Um, if you're coming here this fall, we'd love to know where you're coming from. Yeah, we Let's are see. going to show you the kitchen. It's going to be the first stop. So right. this is a good place to go if you're kind of sick of the... Get you uh, like them all. Thank you. When you're kind of sick of just going to breath all the time, sometimes it's nice to bake some cookies or make some soup. So they have all the pots and pans that you need. All you have to do is go up to the desk and check them out. Um, which is going to actually be on the Buchanan Drogue side. Um, 
and then there's a fridge, there's a microwave and a stove top, and you also have an ice machine as well. Now, did you do much cooking in the residence hall when you lived there? I cooked pizza and I cooked sugar cookies. Sugar cookies, sugar okay. Cookies. Right. Sometimes I would eat the dough before I actually ate them though. That's so, always the temptation. That's always the temptation. It's so good. Um, and now I'll show you the laundry room. There is some recycling out here. Some recycling bins recycle. to be used, yeah. We're very eco-friendly here on campus. Um, so right here is Arkansas the laundry. Natural States is right there. I was just catching that little thing they had built. Uh, Welcome to the Natural State. Um, so this is our laundry room. We're going to have three washers. We're going to have four dryers. And right here is going to be a folding table in case you ever need to fold anything. Mm -hmm. There's also a sink behind you, which can't really stand. But if you ever wanted to hand wash things, you can do that as well. Um, well tell us how the laundry works here. Do I need to bring money? No, so the laundry is included in your fees. You don't housing. have to in the housing, in the housing fees, fees, not student fees. fees, not student fees, housing fees. So you don't have to put in quarters or do anything. Everything's right here. Mm -hmm. And we have this system called Laundry Alert, which is what these signs are. If you don't know what I'm going to remember, you're gonna, not going to remember me talking about this. So basically, what this is is you'll use your phone, and on the laundry machine is this QR code. So you're going to scan that with your phone, and you're going to say that you are using this machine and it will let you know through your phone when it's going to be done. And so you can come down here, move it into the dryer and do the same exact process all over again. You can also download the app on your phone or even get on to the website on your computer and it will tell you whenever there's um, a washer or a dryer open. So it's something good to definitely use up and like I said, it's going to be right here on this wall if you ever forget it. Yeah. Yeah. That way you don't have to come down here and say, oh no, everything's already full. There's not really space in You can check it from your phone or from yeah. your desktop. Um, right. now Let's get into those common areas here. So we've got two common areas right here, but we'll go into this one first. Mm -hmm. Where is... Oh! oh. It just comes on. Of course, this is what we all live for here in college, just a ping pong table. Mm -hmm. um, you can rent paddles from... You can and drove aside their office over there because y'all don't have an office here. It's the same area where you'll go and pick up packages. Rent paddles in the ball from there. You just leave your student ID, return them when you're done. Um, so you can always come here, invite your friends, come hang out. There's also two desks in the back, so if you want to get out of your room and just study, definitely come over there. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. So one then, of the two kind of common spaces you have here on the ground floor. And this is going to be the other ground space. Uh -huh. Ignore the white bags over here. Yeah, that's just camps where, going on. Exactly, those are fresh towels and other things that we've got going. Um, so we have vending machines, uh -huh. of course. If you ever just needed a snack, um, that's gonna have to. That's not what the you're like. Is you can actually anything. use uh, Apple, Apple Pay, Pay right there. And other yeah, things. so just enter in your own cash, your own card, or Apple Pay. Mm -hmm. You can get um, any snacks you want, any drinks that you wanted, and then we just, of course, have some couches right here just to. Hang out, relax, there's a flat screen TV, you can watch the movies over there. Mm -hmm. It's a good place just to come down and unwind and just hang out with your friends and get to know them a little bit more because you're going to be living with all new people. This is completely different. It's definitely a step out of your comfort zone, but it's really good, I promise. And you lived in one of these community style residence halls in uh, yes. Yoakum, right? Yes, and actually like that's who all of my best friends are. This past weekend, I actually went and got to visit all of them. It was like one big hoorah, and I loved it. So make right. the most memories you can. Keep your door open. Let people just come in, introduce yourself, and just make memories. So don't, don't, don't turtle up. Don't turtle up. No, do not turtle up. <laughs> this is why they're like not those heavy doors, and they can just open and stay open. Gotcha. So now we'll go check out uh, the bathroom, I think, and then check yes. out one of the bedrooms. And then if you have any questions about measurements in the bedroom, feel free to ask us. Yeah. Um, right here's going to be a trash chute on uh -huh. every single floor. There's going to be a door labeled trash chute. Basically, you'll just walk in, throw your trash down there, and it will eventually come down here into this. There's a trash can in here. How's this work? Um, I hope it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't smell. And no. so it'll just go down and into this trash can. So you don't have to worry about putting it anywhere. Just make sure it goes in the trash chute. Don't put it in the bathrooms. It's one thing they get mad about because mm -hmm. we tried to do that. <laughs> Live and learn, huh? Live and learn. Okay. Uh, so now we're going into the men's restroom. The men's restroom. So we're going to have three sinks. 
We're gonna have some toilets over here. And then these are the showers right here. We just have two. Okay. And it's just a little square, but you don't need anything bigger, I promise you. Mm -hmm. um, it has a little shelf right here where you can put your shampoo on, like this person did right here. Mm -hmm. um, you can use these walls up here to put your stuff on. And then I believe there's hooks on the outside. There are to hooks hang up on the outside towels. right there. So you hang your towels yeah. up right there. Hang your towels and your towel wrap on there. Do you have any thoughts on like bathroom etiquette when you're sharing a space? Do you do you wear the shoes or not wear Definitely the shoes? Definitely wear shower or... shoes. Okay. Please. If there's one thing you get from this video, wear shower shoes. Okay, okay. It gets it can get pretty disgusting. Bathrooms are cleaned every single day. Which is nice because you don't have to do anything. Um, wear shower shoes. Get a shower caddy. It's easier to carry all of your stuff down here instead of all of it in your hand. Wear a robe, of course. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty much just like common courtesy. Lessons learned. Because you are a uh, rising junior this year, right? Rising junior. Should be sophomore. Kind of skipped a year. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go to this last right now, actually. And what is it you study, Molly? Advertising and Public Relations, which is a journalism degree here. Okay, so okay. I'm getting the best of both worlds. I can do two different things with one degree. <laughs> um, so this is going to be our typical room. Um, all the furniture is movable. You have your bed right here, of course. You're going to have a desk with a chair. Something cool about this chair. I can do it. Oh, yeah, give me a second. Let me hand back on you here. Aha. So now what did you do? I took my chair off, and you can use it as a little rocker. Oh, yeah. okay. So in case you want more space, like I said, leave your door open, let everyone come in here. You can sit on your bed. Two friends can sit right there. Two friends can sit with one chair. Very um, nice, very nice. We'll put that back later. And uh, I guess you should point out also, the, these beds are all loftable. Yes, they're all loftable. You can put in a maintenance quest before you get here. You just go to housing.uark.edu slash fix it and put in a maintenance request and they can move it to however tall you want. Mine was probably about right here. That's mm -hmm. pretty high. I've, mine was That's also the a highest, little bit higher. Right? I had a different, my bed was a little bit different because I lived in yoga hall. Okay, right. Um, but I put sh extra shelves underneath. I put my humidifier underneath because I have asthma. Um, I had a trash can. So let's mention also your environmental controls here because you have a um, you have dedicated wall unit yes. that you can use for your air conditioning, which is nice because you have complete control of that yeah. situation. Just adjust it up or down. Um, it's pretty super easy to use. It says fan speed, fan mode, timer. Um, so just use that and then I'll show you the dresser. We have a fan up here too. I just want to point yes. out that there's and a fan room. to this. This feels oh. so good. Yeah. <sighs> So you're showing us the wardrobe. This is our wardrobe. We're gonna have a mirror as well. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. bad hair day. <laughs> um, so we're gonna have some shelves on top where I put like my hats, some t-shirts, just whatever you can put up there. And you're gonna have some hangers right here where you can hang stuff on. And then you can put your shoes on there if you want. If not, something I would suggest to bring would be like a shoe rack and loft your bed and actually put your shoe rack underneath your bed. Mm. Or you can just like get a big um, rubber rubber made container and just kind of put it all in there if that's how you work. Sure. Um, then we have this area as well, yeah. which so is kind of a right here, this dress of drawers. unit. So they're all separate. Every one of these is separate. So this one's just going to be some basic drawers that you can put stuff in. Um, super nice furniture. This is all fairly new. And then right here, Oh, yeah. So this is just going to be like a little nightstand. Um, mm -hmm. You can put that there if you want it. You can actually, when you shut it, you can lock it like this and turn it and it's locked and you can put a little key or lock there. So if you had any valuables that you didn't want to get taken, even though I don't know why people would come in if you just lock your door, <laughs> but in case you want an extra protection, just lock that right there. There you go. Yeah. And it's going to be the same thing over here. I'll show you the back of the door. You're gonna have some racks right here to put your towels on. Um, and then right here, it's just gonna be like emergency pr procedures, mm -hmm. you know, just common sense what to do in a tornado. I, we had to take shelter last year. You have to know what to do. Um, and there's a little people right here. It's like a hotel. You can see who's coming. 
I'm yeah. going to point out the uh, cable system too, just because we have yes. had questions about that. We recently upgraded to digital cable. Uh, you'll get a remote whenever you come in. Uh, we ask that you bring your own battery. It's a double, I think it's a double A in there. Let's double check. Yeah, let's check. Just to make sure. Oh, wait, I have nubby. Uh, you'll have all the HBOs, and um, it'll be a digital cable that you can just hook up to your TV and, and watch. And, Triple A. Triple A. Triple A. Triple A batteries. And then um, you'll also, they have DVR that is available. It doesn't come standard, but you can always pay extra to get DVR capabilities. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, yeah. Uh, is there any questions from anyone who's watching? I see that there's a few people watching. So if Molly and I can answer those questions for you, we sure would like to. Yes. You can always find measurements at housing.ur.edu. Um, you can go there, click on the dorm that you'll be living in. Campus communities is what Campus we call it on the navigation. Mm -hmm. Not dorm, halls. Look yeah. at the hall. Um, and you can click on that and it'll give you all the dimensions of everything. The dimension of the bed, the dimension of the room, desk, wardrobe, bed table, all of it. Fantastic. So. Well, let me do one more quick pan of the room and yes. then we'll probably go ahead and sign off. Thank you, everyone. We're excited that you're coming this fall. Yeah, y'all have a great to have time. Yeah. It's a fun place to be. Just make the best of it, go to class, and do your best. That's all you can do. It's different than high school. Don't think it's high school. You're going to have to put in some effort, I promise. It's really <laughs> hard, but you can do it. It's not that difficult. Thanks, Rose, for about requesting um, mattresses. All right, well, thank you very much. We're going to go ahead and sign off. You'll wave yeah. us out. Thank yeah, you. see y'all tomorrow morning for the next tour at 10 a.m.